What's going on guys? Welcome back to XCOM 2. Uh, I haven't done any customization yet, maybe after this episode. I took a little break after the first episode there. Uh, was watching the NALCS. Uh, if you don't know what that is, it's League of Legends competitive uh, tournament league, basically. So anyways, with that being said, I'm now back on to XCOM 2. Gonna get another mission done, recorded. Uh, the unfortunately my sharpshooter was in fact injured so I would like to see they're here gravely wounded so they have some time before uh, before I can use them again I'm just gonna look to see who we got I'm just gonna take uh, I'm just gonna take this Jack Gordon guy. He looks like a, a straight shooter. All right, so this is the second mission. Uh, you don't get to choose any mission or anything. This is just the mission. This is what pops up next. Uh, I have to protect the device apparently, and I think I have to eliminate an uh, enemy commander or something. So we're gonna go ahead and get into that. And see how it goes. The squad is ready to deploy on your order, so this screen here is the tactical screen, which uh, I'll probably show a little bit of here or there. Uh, I'm not going to do a lot of it. I've, you know, I've watched, I've watched a little bit on this. I wanted to make sure I knew what I was doing before I got into it. And uh, I'm by no means a professional XCOM player, so uh, that's why I'm playing a normal. But I did watch a little bit and watching people fly around this little map and do stuff is kind of boring uh, in my opinion and I think it's a little bit better to just showcase the the missions themselves uh, but hey like I said that's my opinion if you watch this and you would like to see some more of that tactical map there uh, you can just let me know and I will do a little bit of it but as of right now, I'm thinking about not doing it much. Alright, so. I would like to get a unit up top here. Um, is this my specialist? This is my specialist. Yeah, my specialist would probably be an okay up top unit. So let's see if anyone... Okay, no one can get there. Let's put one person... By the window. Gain a little vision. Let's get the specialist up top. We're not going to go too far in. We don't want to pull anything. Um, okay, we found some guys, which is good. Commander, we have a chance to do some serious damage here. I understand. Uh, we're going to put another guy here. He'll be able to move up onto this next turn. I believe this is the rookie, too. Yeah, it's the rookie. And uh, so Overwatch Concealed. He'll only fire if he gets revealed. So we're going to make sure that these guys uh, use their Overwatch, but only if they get concealed. Okay, so we know that there's a sectoid in by this device. So if there's a sectoid in there, there's probably something else in there. This guy's going to move up a little bit. Somehow he's not in cover there. It's just that thing. Um, so we're probably just going to move him... He, he's flanked right now? That was interesting, to say the least. Okay. Uh... This guy is going to move up to here. Okay, he has a flanking shot, which is good. We're going to move up the Grenadier to here. And this is going to wipe out this squad. Um, if it doesn't wipe out this squad, I'd be very surprised. Uh, 
Uh, so Shen's telling us about hacking that thing, uh, which I might look into, but... Alright, so let us first look at this hack and see what see what it can gain us. Um, these guys can't see the little drone. I just want to see what this could do for us. We can cancel this, so it's not a big deal. So we're not going to do this. Um, it's not that great right now. So we're just going to back up, and we're going to pull this squad. I mean, gaining control of an enemy unit would be pretty cool, but... So, first things first. Uh, he, this guy up here has the best... He's going to overwatch. The guy in the back is going to take the shot. Um, he's going to take the shot. So it's going to blow our concealment, which is okay. That's not a big deal. Um, but we wanted him to get a promotion anyways, so that's why he took the shot. And he was the furthest away. These guys are, are all going to have a much better, uh, much better accuracy. So that's why we had them do the <coughs> overwatches. Alright, so we know that there's a sectoid in here. And we know that that sectoid's by this window. So, with that being said, let us move up a little bit. Moving. We might actually send a grenade in, if we can. I don't know if we can... Okay, we can't quite get it far enough. That's okay. Uh, we're going to move to here first. We might move him up a little later. Okay, so we found our we found our uh, our pack here, which is what we wanted. And this actually is really good. Um, where they decided to move is fantastic. We get to grenade them, and hopefully, after the grenade. Uh, it's going to blow up this guy's cover, so hopefully we can get some good shots onto the sectoid. I don't think there's going to be any slashing. Uh, now, I hope there's not another pod. If there is... So this guy could probably kill the sectoid. So we're going to go ahead and take this shot. This is a really good shot. Five damage kills the sectoid. It's a really good shot there from him. Now we're going to sprint this guy up. He needs to be able to join the battle. He is a rookie. He's up. He's in a good spot. And we don't really have any good full cover for this guy. Uh, for uh, our for Jane here. So we do want one overwatch just in case. So we're going to take one overwatch. Okay, so I don't know that there's actually enemy, any enemies left. So we're going to make a little bit of a risky move here. Uh, we're going to have this guy come down. We're going to make a sprint up. We're going to use the rookie to sprint up. Little, a little distance here, cover a little extra ground. We're using the rookie because we have a sharpshooter already. Uh, this guy might not become a sharpshooter, so if he if he spots enemies and winds up getting killed, at least we didn't lose um, our sharp, uh, you know, our sharpshooter or a good unit. He didn't see anything. This move's probably okay. Uh, I think everyone's going to sprint up in this. I just think it's the best thing to do for us here, uh, and. This guy's... Jane's gonna really get up there. She's gonna get real close. Probably be able to get into this device. Okay, so we do have some more aliens. So these sprints were actually uh, probably pretty good. If we can get Jane Kelly to get some vision, 
which this window might give us vision. I'd like to be over here, but we're going to peek through the window. We do have to be careful. Um, who's this? This is our grenade grenadier? No, this is our support. So we want our support up top. Which I know sounds kind of crazy. But he has to go here this this turn. Um, if Jane didn't see anything, he's not going to see it. I don't know how he got vision on them. I'm going to be honest with you here. It doesn't really make much sense to me how he got any vision on them. Understood. And he has to go on Overwatch immediately. Oh, he has a shot. It's probably not a good shot. No, it's not a good shot. So he's going to go on Overwatch. This is a bit tricky. He's going to move here. We're going to look at Grenade. Um... Yeah, this grenade's not a big deal. So he's going to overwatch as well. And then this is going to be an overwatch. And we're ready for these guys to move towards us. Uh, we're kind of clumped up, but there's no grenades at the moment. So what's he going to do? Is he going to make a Psy zombie? Basically, he flashbanged that unit, which isn't a big deal. The problem is actually getting over to these guys to do damage. So the Grenadier has to blow this wall open. If we get the... How is he flanked? I... <laughs> he can't even be seen there. If we can get uh, this guy up here, we'd probably be okay. So the Grenadier is going to make his, his move first. He's going to move here. He is going to hopefully be able to blow this wall open, which it looks like we have a good chance of doing. That's going to make him easily flankable, which uh, even means we might be able to get the slash on him. Yeah, we can even get the slash on him. So this guy's going to go up top. He's going to go up top to here, and he's going to shoot the other guy. Uh, he's going to have a really good height advantage and probably a flank on him. All right, so he doesn't have a flank on him. We're actually going to use him to kill the sectoid. I mean, that's a 95% chance to hit. A huge chance to crit. Alright, so we have some loot there now. Uh, this guy... She's going to move, let's see, Jane's going to move, where's Jane? Jane's going to move here. She has a shot, it's not a great shot. She still has a shot, it's a 46. She might take that. This guy's disoriented, which is kind of a problem, it's not a big deal. He's going to take her spot, and he's actually going to shoot at this guy. Uh, oh, he has a 5%? No, he's going to overwatch. And she's going to take this full cover spot here, I think. She's going to take this full cover. This makes her a little harder to hit. And the other guy's in Overwatch. Hopefully the Disorient's gone. It's not. We got the kill anyways. Somehow. Status confirmed. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. Good job, Rookie. Now, unfortunately, I don't think I get that loot. Maybe I still do, but I don't know. I guess we'll find out here in a minute. Average enemies killed per turn. One per turn. Nice. Pretty good. Theodore still hasn't missed a shot. Theodore Andre still has not missed a shot. He's going to... He's going to get customized for sure. Uh, hopefully, Jack Gordon has become a sharpshooter, since my other one's currently injured. Uh, we're going to find out when they come back. If anyone's got a promotion, we'll definitely do that.
before the end of the video. This uh, mission also gave us an engineer. Alright, so we have uh, quite a few promotions here. Our ranger and our specialist. First this guy. He has become a grenade grenadier. Which is good. Now we have two grenadiers. That's good. We can't, you know, we can't deny that. Now we have to decide if we want uh, Blade Master deal plus two extra damage on all sword attacks, or when squad is revealed, the soldier remains concealed. So do we want? Obviously, I don't know what any of this stuff, but do we want more sword focused? Or do we want more stealth focused? I think for our first ranger, we're going to take a more sword focused ranger. I really like that idea. And this guy has a combat protocol. Send the gremlin to jolt to an enemy to jolt them, dealing guaranteed damage, which is increased against robotic enemies. That's kind of cool. And medical protocol. That's the heal. Uh, considering this is my first time playing this game, and I'm not sure how well a combat hacker would do, I would like a medical protocol in case someone gets injured. I think that's fair. So this guy's on one mission, had two kills. That's pretty good. Two kills for this. Now he's a grenadier. So now we got two grenadiers. So yeah, I did not, unfortunately... This might actually be the loot that I would have picked up. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure how that works. Two sectites, four advent trooper corpses. Now that we've got some help, we can Alien debris, the begin excavation. Except. Alright, so this is the new... We're going to excavate this. Oh, I guess I have to pick a engineer to do that, so we're going to do that. Uh, and with that, I'm, I'm going to call it there, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, next time we'll be on another mission, and we're going to kick some more alien ass. Hope to see you then. Thanks for watching.